Okay, welcome to uh, Codeo Project 3 Draft ATM. Your task for this project is to create a very simple ATM. The project is broken into three sections. Collect customer input, calculate the ending balance, display the results to the customer. Your final output should look like this. So we'll hit the next button. Collect customer input. If the action is balance B, use a print balance function to return and print an account balance. You will need to write a function called print balance. So they uh, given us an opening account balance here. That's their account balance variable equal to $525, $500.25. Uh, notice they used the float method and request action to be taken on this account. Create a prompt for the user to input the account action. So we're going to create three functions, the, the uh, balance, withdraw, and deposit. And they're going to have the option of selecting these three codes and write a print balance function that returns the account balance, create the action for selection B, account balance to call the print balance function, then print the account balance once the value is returned from the function test your code. So uh, when you test your code, this is the output you should get. Um, the user choice is going to have this input, what would you like to do? And then if user choice selects B, it's going to print this out. So what we're going to do, we're going to create the three functions here. Uh, one for balance, first deposit, and then withdraw. So for purposes of speed I went ahead and, and typed these uh, up and I'm just going to copy and paste these over to just make this go a little bit faster. So on the first uh, function that we're going to create we've created the uh, balance function and I just want to point out here You'll see on these other functions, we're going to use the dollar sign, but uh, I did that originally when I created this function, and I ended up getting an error because, as you can see, no dollar sign. So make sure right here you leave the dollar sign off when you create this function. Otherwise, printing up that dollar sign will give you an error and won't let you pass this. So we'll move on. So here we are. We're just taking this account balance from their account balance up here. And so we, we know it's 500.25. So we're gonna create the deposit function. And again, I just, uh, to make this go a little faster, I'm gonna just copy and paste. move this over so you can see the full code here for a second. So here this is the uh, deposit function so we're just defining deposit function. We define the balance for defining the, the deposit. So deposit amount equals float parentheses input how much. Uh, I'm using the float again just to make sure we're getting decimal numbers input how much would you like to deposit today and now again when you go through this uh, when you go through this uh, checks here if you don't use the exact words they use you're going to get an error message so just make sure you're using the exact words and again we're using the backslash n because we're putting the balance on the uh, new line so uh, then it will print when, when you call this function deposit function, it'll print up deposit was and how much it is. And see here, we have the dollar sign. Here we have the dollar sign. As I said up here, no dollar sign because here, no dollar sign. But you'll see on the further on the the checks that are coming that they uh, they have dollar signs. So we have included those dollar signs there. So. Um, Let's go down to the withdraw function and define that. And 
again I've already wrote it so we'll just copy and paste okay and here let's move this over so you can see this here for the withdrawal function we are again how much would you like to withdraw today we have the new line and if withdrawal amount is greater than account balance print this okay so obviously you cannot withdraw more than you have in your account so that's why we have that in there so if withdrawal amount is greater than account balance print the amount this right here will be the amount the amount is greater than your account balance of this amount and so uh, we're doing it if else so if that's the case you're trying to punch in a number that's too high you're going to get this print statement else balance equals account balance minus minus draw amount obviously and then we're going to print withdraw amount is this amount current balance is this amount with the uh, withdrawal amount and balance being called so that's how you have your three functions and i'm going to just check something here let's move this over i think i got to do something else here yeah okay on the um on the uh, check here it's failing and that's because I have to put the user input. So let's go ahead and put the uh, user input. So here we have the user input. And so we're asking the question, what would you like to do? And again, we're using the new line so make sure you include the new line and let me just see if okay and then after you ask them you have to create your if elif statements in order to get the answer so We'll put the if close statements in and so we're just saying if they select if user choice equals D so we created the user choice variable here so user choice variable is here so when they input D W B or Q it's going to give them deposit withdrawal balance and Q is the quit it's the exit and thank you for banking with us we'll print so now we're going to go over here and we're going to check our code let's check it and everything is looking good and let's go on here to the next step calculate the balance deposit so when i was going through this um i was you know, I, I didn't use the exact wording they were using at first when I was creating these uh, um, functions. So if you're not using these exact words, again, you will get errors. So make sure you use these exact words. Make sure you're putting your new lines in, your new lines in. Otherwise, you'll get the uh, error messages. And so here, let's check it. and it passes again the uh, code that we put in on the uh, first screen that was this is the complete code for the program so there's not going to be any more code added uh, but you can see that the dollar signs are showing here and that's showing there so uh, in the first step like I said no dollar sign for the rest of these steps you got dollar signs included if you just if you just uh, put that dollar sign there you'll get an error message and it will not work so I'll go on to the next one calculate for withdrawal 
And again, we're just calling the uh, withdrawal function and we'll check it and it will pass. So let me give you guys a view of the full screen here and go over this one more time. So we're creating the uh, balance function. So print your current balance and starting balance is up here 525. That's what we got right here. So we're just taking that variable and putting it in right here. Creating the uh, deposit function. So we defined a deposit. Deposit is going to be account balance. This value here plus deposit amount. This account balance plus whatever you put in there for the deposit. So print deposit current balance. And for the withdrawal, same thing. We're just defining the withdrawal function. Withdrawal will equal. Now the only difference is on the withdrawal, we've added an if else because we can't withdraw more than what we have here. So if this withdrawal amount selected is greater than the account balance, greater than what we have, then this uh, message will come up. Uh, the balance you selected is greater than your current balance of. And as long as you don't, Select a uh, withdrawal amount higher than your balance, else your balance equals account balance minus withdrawal amount and print. And that's what it will do. It will pass these arguments, withdrawal amount and balance, and print those out. And when you get over here to the last step, I just want to see if I see it over here. Okay, final input Q. Now this is the this this last LF statement here is the last one on here uh, just to give give them an option to uh, break this and, and get out of this code. So if they put the Q, it, it will quit. And of course, uh, when you check it, it's good. So that's it. That's the uh, ATM summary. Um, Make sure you guys comment your your work before you submit it. But there's the code that will pass through this and get you going. Thanks for watching.